My name is Vintilla Vintilasti, and I have a vision. A kingdom where all lands north of the Danube River stand united. A Valachian kingdom where Vlachs and Orthodox alike can prosper. But my vision does not stop there. Bulgaria have enforced their ideals on us for far too long. We shall gain our independence from the Bulgarians and set our eyes east on the crown jewel itself, Constantinople. And thus begins our playthrough as Count Vintilla, Vintilasti of Targovista. Of course, we are starting as a vassal of Bulgaria, and as for our game rules, we are leaving everything on default. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start our playthrough. And look at that, I love the way CK3 just instantly jumps into a game. I also love the way CK3 has given me a player, Aaron's son, to start off with things. Right, let's go ahead and look at our character traits, because we do like to roleplay to our traits a little bit bit in these parts. We are impatient. Ventilla thinks that most things should happen fast. Ideally they should happen now. He is humble. Ventilla does not ask for much in life and content. What he already has, be it much or little, is enough for Ventilla. We are a thrifty clerk though. Ventilla is adequate when it comes to investments and administrations, but blunders in the art of stewardship are still the norm. So stewardship is actually our highest skill with 12 so i'm thinking if we go ahead and choose a lifestyle focus let's go with stewardship and i'm probably going to go for monthly income hmm yeah i think monthly income is the way to go let's get 10 percent extra for that oh and look at this we already have loads of perks in architect so building construction cost uh we get a decrease in that we get building construction time minus 30 percent development growth in realm capital plus 0.3 per month collect tactics uh, taxes effectiveness plus 25 percent fort level plus one garrison size is up we can purchase truces uh levy reinforcement rate plus 100 and popular opinion plus 50 that's all very nice stuff right there what about the wife oh this she also has 11 stewardship she's a hunchback as well uh, are my children hunchbacks? My eldest daughter is not. <laughs> my player hair and son is. Oh dear. Uh, we're gonna roll with it though. I, I like to, to roll with what the game gives us. We'll, we'll just have to role play it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and pin those children. Uh, in fact, uh, I think we're gonna start seducing the wife. She's 37. But we might be able to pop out another child still. Hopefully uh, a healthy son to support his brother. Now if we go to Adelina, my eldest daughter. Ooh, 19 diplomacy. It's a shame you can't serve on my council. What I am looking for though, is possibly a genius man here to educate my son. And we do have a selection. We can go with the Orthodox Greek, Simakos is 30 years of age, or we can go for the Catholic Italian, he's 27, and also gets us a, a little alliance, only 97 men though, this isn't, yeah, it's not a much, is it, and the fact he's already landed, hmm, we're not going to get matrilineal, let's go with Simakos, hopefully he will accept the matrilineal, he will, oh, look at that, we already have uh, an amazing educator, for my children and then if we go ahead and look at the council zero stewardship yeah we need to to go ahead and fix this oh dear we have no options here we do have a bella spy master petra you're going to become my new spy master what about marshall do i have a bella marshall i do vlad here vlad are you are you an impaler <laughs> no uh we got we got vlad here of course it's targa vista is where vlad the impaler ruled from i believe uh, and we our chancellor is okay he's 12 and he's a powerful vassal so let's keep him what i will need to do is let's go ahead and see if we have any unmarried woman in my court and we need to find someone who, who's good at stewardship let's get rid of all of the filters we've got matrilineal and we go by stewardship oh dear Yes, the, the options are not great. Okay, what about you, Lulia? Can you get me a, a fine steward? You cannot. Christina? Anyone? No one wants to marry my courtiers. What about my spy master? Uh, are you able to get a steward? Okay, Angel is quick. 11 stewardship. He's orthodox. He's black as well, so he shares our culture. Let's go ahead and send that proposal, and he's going to become my new steward. Now, we also have wards and wardens to mess around with. Uh, nothing is popping up here right now, however. Let's go ahead and employ a court physician. My bishop can, can kindly take that. I also need to station men-at-arms. And I start off with a lot of them. 
Oh, this is nice. Light footman, armored footman, pikeman. Okay, who have the highest stats? 10, 15. They also have pursuit though. 32, 21. Oh, it has to be the armored footman. Yes, let's go ahead and station them in Targoviste. And we might actually get some early raiding on with those men at arms. That could be a potential thing we do. Hmm. What about my champions? Ah. We are heavily lacking on the champion side of things. Right. Have I done all of this? I can designate a guardian. We're not employing a wet nurse. Oh dear, Christina, you can be my wet nurse. And we need to organize the champion things. Let's organize the champions now. If I go back to unmarried woman in my court, I'm sure we can find some men with good prowess. Like Bernardin, how much prowess do you have? 13. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's not looking promising, is it? What about Emmerich? 10 prowess? I mean, we need them. They're, they're better than what we already have. Let's go ahead and marry you off for someone. Claudio is already my champion. 8 prowess, 7 prowess. Oh, dear. Uh, we're going to have to marry them off. And these are my daughters. Petra, did I just organize one for you? I forgot who I even clicked on. What about Adrian? 15 prowess and he's quick. Yes. Let's get Adrian involved in here. And I think... I think we are ready to unpause. That only took a record five minutes. Oh, we're also in a war. My liege is in the war. The Morgia migration into the kingdom of Pannonia. Oh, I think that's the how hungry gets formed, isn't it? To the Pesetta Ventilla, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I would graciously take the hand of your courtier, Christina. So that's going to be a new champion. You're going to be our new steward. Oh, you're handsome as well. Uh, you were the genius. Let's go ahead and just approve through all of these. There we go. I, I think that was the last one. I believe so. Right. New steward, where are you? Angel, you're going to become my new steward. That's looking better. Let's go ahead and increase the development. We are tribal. Train commanders uh, and wife, you're going to help me manage the domain. We need more money. I'm also losing prestige. Damn it. Why am I losing prestige? Unraised men at arms. We do have a lot of them. What we can do to fix that, though, is we can build a gathering horse. That should give us some extra prestige per month. What's this? Tax, stationed, cavalry. Oh, don't we have a unique cavalry? Uh, where am I clicking? Over here. The Connie. Yeah, look at this. Masters are raiding. The infamous Connie-like cavalry of Eastern Europe can make short work of a fleeing enemy army. Oh, I would like to get some of those, but we'll have to see. For now, though, let's get the gathering halls because I do need that extra prestige income. Well, we are struggling a little bit, and our gold income is low as well. Uh, as for the education, son, what are you good at? Intrigue or diplomacy? Hmm. Let's go intrigue, yes. And then if we go ahead and educate you, I think... Simakos here. Uh, he's going to teach you many great things. And you, daughter, what are you good at? Learning? Yes, let's go with learning. And Simakos is also going to teach you as well. Having a genius educate my children is good. It's one of those rare moments where I do go for traits. But if we ever want to take Constantinople all the way over here in the Byzantine Empire, then I need my children to be smart and intelligent about it. Can I raise this? No, I don't have enough. I also need to fix my my region she's self-interested can i select my my daughter adelina she's selfless let's go ahead and designate her we don't get any pop-ups for that oh look at that we gained 51 gold already very nice thank you very much we could already start building another building once this one's finished now do we have any raiding targets i have a feeling everyone is quite strong around us Especially if we disembark, so we, I mean, we can't raid in the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> they have way too many men, and we can't raid up here. I mean, how many men do you have? There, yeah, 3,000. I don't think we actually have any good raiding targets to start off. So I think we're probably going to miss out on the raiding. We can't exchange prisoners with anyone yet either. So what I'm going to do, if we go back to that, I'm going to start fabricating a claim on my neighbours. Tabla Buti, because we need the Transylvanian Alps, which will eventually allow us to form the Kingdom of Wallachia. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small, if I want to impress Countess Zina, I should send her something truly special. She is a highborn. I think uh, a handkerchief with my crest on it. Uh, 
What about... Oh, a rare book. Yes, yeah, she is an insightful finger. I should acquire an especially rare book for her. I'm sure she would absolutely love that. Greetings, Count of Intellera of Targa Vista. I received the rare book you sent me. I am unsure as to the reason why you sent me a gift like this, but I took note of it. Oh dear, bad impressions. Minus 10% on the seduction scheme. Oh, apparently books are not how you seduce a woman. If only I knew this earlier in life, maybe my life would be very different now. <laughs> well, do we have any new activities? I don't... Oh, university visit. That's very expensive though. Go on a university visit, a period at a renowned center of studies. Maybe I should save that. I mean, I'm already 37. I could save that for my son, or I could take it myself. I mean, we're going to have spare gold. Maybe I should take that for myself. I'm going to step things up to four times speed as well whilst we wait for things. Hmm. That is an interesting situation. Also, yes, you're married off. I need to find someone for my son. Now, we could marry for an alliance, but I'm going to need genius children. We don't have any genius women. Okay. What about intelligent? We do have a few intelligent choices. You're 12. She's 22. So, by the time you come of age, she's going to be 26. I think that's okay. She is Catholic. They consider us a stray. She's French, so she's not too far away. Adele, you are going to marry my son, Stefan. And hopefully not have hunchback children, just intelligent ones. Let's go ahead and send that proposal off before one of the AIs swipe her up. To the modest Ventilla, I accept your betrothal proposition. Your son and heir, Stefan, will be betrothed to my courtier, Adele. Excellent stuff. Oh dear, I had a mini hiccup then. <laughs> What's happening? So we are under this guy. He's quite strong. Before we break away from him, we're going to have to attack my neighbours, I think. Which means we need to wait for a claim. The celebrations had come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Countess Zena suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Zena. Hmm, stubborn, arbitrary, trusting, insightful thing, because she didn't like the book. But maybe she will like something pious. Like the small book on theism. I think that's how you say that. Let's see. As the clerk drones on and on, I can tell Zena's attention is slipping. While I am thinking of how to salvage the situation, my courtier Lulia suddenly chimes in and asks, May I humbly suggest we read Travels to Byzantium instead? And Zena immediately perks up with renewed interests. Ah, why didn't I think of that? Oh, awkward. Ah, oh, success chance minus... 20%? We've ruined this. I don't think we're seducing the wife today. Oh no, this is terrible news. Also, uh, we can't exchange prisoners for some reason. I wonder why that is. Hmm. I could offer, we could exchange hostages. We won't do that, but maybe it'll be good. Maybe like the more powerful neighbors here, we could exchange hostages with in the future <gasps> my wife is pregnant okay that's good news hopefully a son although that might cause problems upon succession oh my son has learned the greek language if we need a spy to go into byzantium we now have him my son i should train you as a spy uh but not yet right let's go ahead and wait for this claim to fabricate and then i think we can go to war with them oh they are a little bit stronger so we might have to marry for an alliance first but i will be back soon once the claim has completed wait my legions died what happened was slain in battle by chief des ambrus of karakurman that's up here oh so now we have a new liege who is wait where is my liege you're my liege? Oh, I'm trying to take land from her. But she has the Duchy of the Transylvanian Alps. Oh, if we can get a claim on the Duchy, that would be such a brilliant start. Okay, let, let's go ahead and unpause again. <laughs> we are still waiting for the claim. Oh dear, her lands are being sieged as well by... Are they the Hungarians? I think so. These guys become hungry in the future, don't they? Uh, my daughter Adelina has given birth to a daughter. Oh, what should we call her? Clara is a nice name. May you grow to be strong and wise, Clara. What I'm also going to do is pin you as well so we can give you a good education. If you guys would like to name one of the children in this series, then leave your name suggestions in the comments below. I will give priority to channel members, but leave your name suggestions below and I will take some of them for future episodes. To my vassal, as an influential count, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. 
In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of steward of the Transylvanian Alps. Oh, thank you very much. I will accept that, most certainly. What does that give me? Oh, an extra gold per month, domain taxes plus 5%, building construction cost reduction. It's all very nice stuff. Oh, and my, my wife. My wife has given birth to a son. Let's call him uh, Vakislav. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure that's how that one's pronounced. Luckily, he's not a hunchback either. Let's go ahead and pin him. We're going to need to give him a good education. His older brother is going to need all the help he can get. In fact, I mean, she already has an intelligent wife, though. Wait, my son, wasn't there a younger intelligent woman? Ah, no, there wasn't. She was 20. What about genius? Are there any genius women around here? There's not. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that one and maybe we can get a favourable marriage in future. Greetings, Count Vintilla of Targo Vista. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Tababuti. Tabla Booty. <laughs> <laughs> All that is missing is one little bribe. 72 gold for a county claim. See it done, my loyal bishop. Uh, we're not going to push the claim right now. If we go there now, we're going to get absolutely decimated by this huge army here. Uh, I could do this war ending, so then I can actually press my claim. What we could also do, though, is start fabricating, fabricating a claim this side. Yeah, because this is part of the Transylvanian Alps as well. My goal is to secure the mountains... If we can do that and get our duchy, then we can expand south and conquer everything north of the Danube River here. And then from there, we have a foothold to go into Bulgaria and eventually Constantinople itself. But I imagine that's quite a ways out yet. My Marshal Vlad has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be of as noble stock as you, my liege, but on my name, I swear that George is someone you would want on your side. Oh, yes, he is. 17 marshal, 17 prowess, a brilliant strategist, and an aggressive attacker. Well, George, I assume that's how you say it. Welcome. Welcome to my champions. You are by far the best champion I have. We don't have acclaimed knights yet, do we? Unfortunately not. Uh, but George, I, I will remember you. You're going to be very useful in the battles to come, right? Can I start this war now? Possibly. Are you strong? Definitely not. Now would be a good time if we're going to do it. I could do independence. No, we're going to do claims on a county of Tabla Booty. Uh, I gain a contested site. It's only costing 19 prestige. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. George, I already have a mission for you. Oh, Samakos is even better though. He has 23 commander advantage and reckless. Yeah, Samakos, he's going to be leading the men. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this. It should be a relatively quick war. At least I hope so. If we see these guys coming back south, then we will start running uh, as soon as we can. But in three months' time, we, we should have the siege, uh, and the war victory should be ours anyway. One week left on the siege, then, and we did just finish building longhouses as well. Look at that. We took... We got six, uh, 12 gold from that? Yeah, we built the longhouses. The war's not over, though. Because, of course, now she has the duchy. I think uh, this is part of her land. So we're going to have to come over here to Ponovragi. I had to tilt my head 90 degrees to read that. Let's go ahead and siege this as well. They shouldn't put up a fight. I mean, they have 800 men. But my war isn't against them. And I don't think they can join the war anyway. How long is this siege going to take? Eight months. Okay, this one is a tiny bit longer here. And I've unlocked a stewardship perk. Right. Let's get divided attention. Domain limit plus two, uh, just because I want to get down to architect. Plus two domain limit isn't too useful to us right now because we only have one holding. I hear a commotion from my son, Vic, Vic, Vakislav's chambers. <laughs> oh, help me. Uh, hastening, hastening inside, I see the wet nurse Christina is playing with Vakislav. My lead, perfect timing. Vakislav just took his first step. She shouts, shouts excitedly. Holding my boy's hand, she tries to walk him around the room. <gasps> My son took his first steps. A giant step for a child and a small step for a ruler. What's this? Oh, I'm content. Let's not pick this one. Uh, I'm impatient, though. I don't have time for this. No, no, no. I must see my son's first steps. Yeah, a, a, a giant step for a child and a small step for a ruler. We gained some prestige because of that. And I think my son gained some opinion on me. How long left on this each? Seven months. Right, let's, let's cut ahead a little bit again. As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. 
I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. Hmm, so we could get a cattle herd in Targa Vista. That gives us development growth plus 10%. That could be useful. Uh, it's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. We get even more development growth, or we could sell them for a little bit of gold. I think the gold is more useful right now because we are tribal, yes. The hides will turn a nice profit. Bring the cleaver! Uh, and that should give us a nice gold for our next claim when it's fabricated. Oh, look at this. We're, we've almost finished the siege. There we go. Let's turn the speed down. <laughs> One week left on this siege and we should win the war. We, we haven't won the war. Why is that? What more can we conquer? There's a castle here. Right, we're going west. We've taken the prisoner. Are you a good prisoner? I can ransom you for 20 gold, but you're worth 50 gold. Let's wait off on that one then. And what about you? You are a good fighter. Would you like to join me? I can't. There we go. <laughs> uh, join me. Become my champion. And then let's go ahead and march our armies west to Targu Jiu. Uh, this pronunciation. I'm going to learn how to speak, aren't I? Uh, there we go. You've accepted my conditions for release. A grand tournament. Because I am at war, I will give this one a miss, but we could do that in future. Um, I doubt the war will be over in time, though. I mean, it's going up 91% war score. Will we even have enough time to see just eight months? Uh, I'll skip ahead again, so we're not sat here. In fact, I've just fabricated a claim. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain providence. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Polovagi. All that is missing is one little bribe. 81 gold. See it done. These guys are they're not as strong anymore, actually. We weakened them a lot. Ooh. That's good. But we want to ransom him first for 50 gold. And then we'll declare this war. How long left on this? You, you have now high tribal authority. Okay. Four months left on the siege. With a coughing a splutter, I relaxively clear my airway. The evening's meal is lovely, perhaps too lovely, as I choke it down a little too fast. Calm, I urge myself. There's no call to rush. I'm just really enjoying my food lately. Am I going to become obese? <laughs> That's far too relatable. Oh dear. Right, let's jump back to the siege. <laughs> As I patiently await the fetching of my clothes, a servant stutters, My lord, uh, uh, no, no one can find you, your garments. I'm surrounded by incompetence, I mutter, storming from my bedchamber. It's in the nursery of my son, Vakislav, while I discover not only my raiment, but also the boy's wet nurse. I had no part in it, my liege. He dressed himself. Christina responds with a giggle. <laughs> Was that meant to be a female voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I need voice acting lessons. Uh, the little scoundrel, what is this? So he's the Prince of Fashion? Wait, he gets the nickname the Prince of Fashion. I mean, I'm content, but... I mean, I want my son to... Look at that little smile. <laughs> he's so bloody pleased with himself, isn't he? I mean, I'm content, but... I want my I want my sons to be known, to be famous. Vakislav, you shall be known as the Prince of Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> that smile cracks me up. Oh, I love this new DLC. Can I take a look at him? Uh, Vakislav, the Prince of Fashion Vintelasti. What a name. What a name. It's marvelous. Right. Over a month left on the siege. Let's speed it up just a tad and then we'll speed things down just a tad. In fact, we've just won the war. Let's finish the siege because then we get a little bit of gold at least and enforce our demands. Oh, we can exchange hostages? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> to my brooding vessel, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to his bloodshed, I will comply with your demand. So be it. Right, we can disband the men. So we now have Tabla Booty. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you say it, surely. Um, oh, my maturity, guys. My maturity. Right, let's unpause and pause. We need to start increasing control here. What's the culture like? It is black. Okay, speaking of culture, we didn't take a look at our culture, did we? Should we take a look at what we have? We have pastoralists. The cattle pastures line of buildings have additional bonus in counties of this culture. Okay, we also get plus one prowess. We get a small health boost and travel speed. This culture is at home in wide and open terrain where they herd large groups of animals. I mean, we're in the mountains. I mean, this is all open here, though, and I assume these guys... Yeah, these guys are all black. 
south of the river, though, they are Bulgarian. Ugh. Uh, we want our independence from them. Where's the culture tab? Let's go back to it. We are strong believers. So the zealous and humble trait is more common. Characters are less likely to accept conversion. And county conversion resistance plus 30%. That's good. The people of this culture are particularly zealous and dedicated to their faith. So we're going to stay orthodox. We have Connie raids. Can recruit Connie as men at arms. We saw those. All black characters get retreat losses minus 10%. Friendly fatal casualties minus 10%. Advantage minus 2. That sucks. And light cavalry damage. Screen. Skirmisher damage and screen. And siege, we siege weapon effect of nine, minus 20%. Oh dear. Light cavalry which can strike quickly at exposed enemies before darting back away. Our Connie can be formed into regiments with specialised in harassment and raiding. That reminds me of Rise of Empires when Vlad was attacking Mehmet. Uh, they just kept on like uh, doing quick attacks, right? Attacking, retreating, attacking, retreating. That's what we're going to do with those. We are xenophilic. Cultural acceptance gain plus 25%. All black characters gain different culture opinion plus 10. No negative opinion of other cultures. Ooh. This culture embraces everyone and is genuinely fascinated by all cultures. Okay, we'll have to remember that. And we are staunch traditionalists. The stubborn trait is more common. Convert to local culture. We're not doing that. Creating a hybrid culture requires more cultural acceptance. We're probably not going to do that either then. And all black characters gain controlled territory advantage plus 5. Control growth plus 0.3. And fascination. Oh, we unlock technology slot. Okay. Tradition is tradition. It is immovable and unchangeable. We must be ready and willing to stand up for what makes us who we are. And my liege? No, you're not my liege. You're my neighbor. Oh, you're getting strong. Can we exchange hostages? I don't think so. Uh, but what I can do is start this war right away if I want to. But first, yeah, 24 gold. I can station more men at arms. Okay, uh, the light footman or the pikeman. Let's go with the pikeman. You're going to be stationed over here in Tabla Booty. My, my new favorite place in this part of the map. I can claim my liege's title. 1500 prestige. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can't do that. What I can do, though, is go ahead and declare this war. Do it, we? Oh, no. We have a truce. Ah, damn it. Shorten truce. Yes, let's put my chancellor on foreign affairs and maybe we can shorten that truce. What we could also do, we have sparring grounds. I wonder, can I get another gathering hall built? I need 190 prestige. I don't have access to that. What if I host a hunt? They only cost 35 gold. Hmm. Uh, I could plan a hunt here. Let's see. Uh, we've got plenty of places to host, like up here actually, in Argies. Plus two for mountains and plus one for no holding. I need... I don't have a master of the hunt though. So why don't we recruit one of those first and then we can have a more successful hunt. Where is this? Master of the hunt, 0 0.06, that's cheap. George, you're going to become a master of the hunt. No, Simakos, you are because you're my genius. I need to keep you happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now we can go ahead and host that one. Okay. Probably want something cheap though, right? Let's go ahead and host it up here. Um, do I need a caravan master? It's right next door, so probably not. What's this? Increases success chance. Eh. Local gamekeepers. Let's, let's keep this closed. More prestige on completion. I want to max this one out though. So it's going to cost us 37 gold. We're going to slay the beast as well. Yes, I'm going to try and slay the beast myself. Right, let's go ahead and start the hunt. We don't need to hire anyone special to come with us. And we'll see who attends. What's this? To my brooding vassal. I have come to the inexorable conclusion that you truly are the best candidate I have for my open council position. For, though it pains me to do so, I am unfortunately obligated to offer you the position of steward. Well, thank you very much. I'll declare war against you again soon. <laughs> I will be hosting a hunt in Argies. And time has come for us to depart. I look forward to spending time outdoors. It's true, there is nothing quite like a good old-fashioned hunt. I cannot wait. And here we go, departing into the mountains. It's a, a very short trip here. There we go, look, we're, we've already arrived. Is it just me? It might... Is it really just me? Oh no, we do have some guests. Uh, Samakos is here, at least. Good old Samakos. Is, is George here? 
Yes, George is here as well. There we go. Samakos and George, my, my two favourite courtiers. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the highlands each day for signs of quarry, while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I have checked my gear and horse many times. It will not be long now. Soon the hunt shall begin. And there's the lads all gathered together. Oh, we've, we've lost the screen already. Claudia assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the highlands near Argis. After piecing together information from the few local gamekeepers, there was some talk about the tracks and fumes nearby. A stout buck is definitely in the area and the conditions could hardly be better for hunting it. Claudia Grings. This ought to be good fun. Ooh. Prestige mediocre. Success chance decreases. What's this? Uh, I seek a hat. No, no, no. Uh, let's get out there. We're going to hunt for stack. And there's the lads all gathered. Look at that. We got my hunter, Mare Lyremia. Uh, Angle is here. Sir Makos is here, my master of the hunt. This is me. Uh, and then Vlad here. Vlad is uh, looking at that dagger like he wants to impale it on someone, isn't he? <laughs> I need to call one of my sons Vlad. We follow our quarry into the slope, slowly but surely gaining on the flightly stag. It suddenly spooks, bounding away in another direction, and as I move to see what scared it, I can scarcely believe my eyes. George and Vlad entangled on the ground in a passionate embrace. Oh, George! Oh, George! Oh, no. What's our opinion on homosexuality? Um, is it here? Same-sex marriage or something, right? Same-sex relations are shunned. Okay, but they're not, they're not criminal, so it's okay, it's okay. Right. Uh, back away slowly. I saw nothing. Mm, uh, get up. I feel the beast is nearby. No, lads, get up. I won't tell you a secret, uh, but I do want to slay this stack, so come help me. The party is stopped, distracted by an outcrop of rounded boulders atop a slope. Mayor Iremia pushes a loose one. All watch wrapped as this rock tumbles down, gathering speed, reaching hill bottom with a satisfying thud. Say, this could be a chance to impress everybody. Push another! I shall jump on it! No, what are you doing? Um, we're supposed to be hunting. Very good, let us continue. Yeah, uh, I hope you're proud of yourself. Can we continue my hunt now? The reason why we're all here. What's this? It has been a shameful diplomatic display. Oh! My Chancellor not doing his job. My vassal mare Lyremia is the first to spot its branching antlers. The cunning buck is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt it's there, observing us through the leafy bushes. It locks eyes with me, and almost as though the animal senses my intent, suddenly takes off in a flash of brown fur. Oh, are we gonna lose it? Lose it? This method is more perilous, but our success chance increases. I'm impatient, so like, and content, so all of these suck for me. Let's go for this one. We ride after it. It's dangerous, but I must kill it. 48% uh, chance of success here. I think if we kill it, we also get an artifact as well. Let's go ahead and speed things up a bit. We can hardly keep up with the blasted beast as it darts and wheezes through the dense trees, snorting wildly. Scaling a rise and disappearing into a dense thicket, the stag is gone as quickly as it appeared with only panting dogs and sweaty horses to show it. Ah, oh, the damn thing is gone. We failed the hunt. Ah, do we get prestige at least? Hunts like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. Vlad gathers the disappointed party and exhausted hounds for the trip home. The stag indeed eluded us this time. Let us leave this adventure behind for now. We still gained 150 prestige. Not so bad. Uh, and we gained the hunter. So we get some prowess, some stress loss uh, and whatnot. Right, let's go ahead and finish the hunt uh, and head our way back home then. We leave the mountains and return to Targa Vista. We must end the Regency. At long last, I am finally home. There is nothing better than arriving back in Targa Vista after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My entourage reports that we have a journey for 66 days for a hunt. Jesus, that's uh, that, it's, it's a long hunt. Right, but we have no time to waste, for we must go to war once more. Oh no, we have a truce. <laughs> Damn it, I'm so impatient. My character does have the impatient trait, actually. It's very fitting. What's this? Vakislav seems to be celebrating something. With my leave, my son Vakislav and his wet nurse parade into my chamber. Christina poses like a herald and proclaims, My liege, you witness a monumental occasion. Vakislav has a mighty gift to offer you. 
She nudges him forward. Go ahead, Vaxlav, tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. My son proudly presents his toothless smile, handing me a pouch with the fallen tooth inside. Oh, wow, lovely, but um, keep it. Oh, I could give him five gold and then I get the tooth. That gives us some prestige. We are content, but I mean, I want to celebrate with my son. Yeah, I'm going to give him some gold. The tooth fairy has come. Uh, and look at this. We get a little bit of extra prestige and child opinion. Let's go ahead and equip that. Our only artifact in this playthrough is my son's tooth. Uh, that's kind of funny, not going to lie. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. Stefan has come of age. Right, they grow up so fast. So he has become a flamboyant trickster he's not that skilled but we did start his education quite late uh, he can marry though so let's go ahead and send off this proposal uh, she's going to accept that hopefully she's 25 so that she's not too old actually hopefully you guys can have some intelligent children you're a poet as well and she's an elusive shadow you guys are actually a good couple to get some intrigue done but not right now um oh, your skills are terrible i mean i could make him my spy master so he gets some bonus skills I feel like I have to, but he's just not very good at it, is he? Uh, well, we're going to do it. Hopefully my son can improve his skills whilst he serves on my council. I also have a lot of prestige now. I mean, we can use that to build, right? My master of the hunt, Simakos, brings words of beasts spotted in my realm. I am hearing much talk from the county of Tabla Booty. It is said there are excellent prospects for hunting thereabouts, with many a worthy heart seeing roaming the valleys. Ooh, game sighting for three years. Right, we, we're we not going to do that right now, though, because I just went on a hunt, didn't I? What I am going to do is build some gathering halls over here. No, I'm not, because I don't have 63 gold. Okay. <laughs> Next month, uh, which is actually one week for now, we're going to build the gathering halls. I saunter between the market stalls of Targa Vista, a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local stonemason, perfect geometry, a sound investment. King Boris of Bulgaria suddenly appears at my soul. Ooh, hello. You are an adulterer. Interesting. A word of advice, Count Vintilla. Have a look at the sculptor's stall over there. My wares might be simple, but the potential is great. So he wants me to go to the sculptor's workshop. What do I get here? Piety and taxes. I would rather make some gold though. Yeah, let's turn a quick profit with some clever trades instead. And then what we can do with this bonus gold is build some gathering halls so we get that extra prestige flowing in. And then we can get more men at arms and whatnot. The county of Tabla Booty gained martial guidance for five years. That's because we're increasing control here. So they're going to get some buffs, uh, which is all rather marvelous. And thus my legacy has begun. With Tabla Booty now under my control, it is only a matter of time before Polo Vraghi follows suit. Once the Transylvanian Alps are mine, we can look southwards to the other Valachian lands.